Gauthier. One timer to save Rodrigue. Rebound and score. The goal will go to Walker Dewar on his own rebound. Came off the bench, glided down the slot, and he was untouched, Bob. One nothing Flames. Yeah, Dewar, an undrafted player out of Mankato, had 17 points last year in 28 games, went plus nine, played four years there. Big body presence, and they got a lot of size with this squad, and they grounded and pounded the Oilers, and it just kind of wore Edmonton down. Dewar, two cracks at it, falls it up, rips one home, and the Flames is roughly an hour and a half from Los Angeles. Walking in, here's a centering pass. Poirier got it back. Rebound, score. Ryan Francis on the doorstep. Rodrigue had no chance, and the Flames catch the Oilers off the rush, and all of a sudden, they have two goals in 21 seconds. Ryan Francis was a fifth-round draft pick of the Flames back in 2020, coming off that year in his draft year, a 72-point season in 61 uh, games in the Quebec League. He's a talented, skilled guy, but he's never going to get uh, a better opportunity to finish that off. I mean, that is just a wide-open net. Flames executed a really good two-on-one, got a good look, and Rodrigue made the Signed to PTO with the... Calgary or with the uh, St. Louis Blues who's also a member of the Calgary Flames of course and former Flame Michael Froelich also on his way to St. Louis here's a one touch score and what a feed in front it was Caldas again and a beautiful redirect right behind Dustin Wolf by Henry Rabinsky. Oilers on the board with a power play goal at 16-25 it's Henry Rabinsky from Yanni Caldas. Oh, great pass by uh, Sappen. He fired one through the seam, and then Petrov brought it into the corner, and then Sappen ends up, and what a look. Backdoor tap in, easy. Two really good passes on that uh, power play goal there. Net front, redirected, save Rodrigue against possible, so point blank. Zaire able to reach out, settle it for Kinball, one timer to save, rebound, score! Rodrigue gave up the rebound and it was fired home by Pospisil. And just like that, the Flames are back in front by a deuce. Too many men cost the Oilers dearly that time. Power play goal at 18-15. Well, it's a tough break. What are rookies have kind of started to work their way back into this game here. Uh, we saw a couple years ago, Jack, in the two matchups, Zav Garodny has got some skill. I know he was very quiet last year playing for... Uh, the Stockton team, which, by the way, was based in Calgary. Up behind the net. One touch to Long. Berglund to Caldas. Side of the net, Safford. One-timer score. And Safford with his second assist of the game. Rabinsky his second goal. He's got a pair on the power play. And the Oilers do indeed cut it to 3-2. Well, there you go. Another power play goal. And Safford, you know, he's almost... Uh, it's interesting, Maximov and Safin were both selected in the same year, and I think most of the uh, uh, shot between periods at certain games. <laughs> See guys flying around. Here's a shot redirected off a Calgary stick and up and in, and Edmonton has tied the game on a tremendous bounce. Taking the initial shot was Philip Kemp, and it went right off a flame stick, and he could not have deflected no. it more perfectly. Top right corner, three all. Phil Kemp will get credit for the goal. A rare offensive foray for Phil Kemp, who had one assist in 12 games last year. And touched to the net, he jumped up on the rush. Oh, why not? I, or yeah. No, it was hurt for Sheleftia. Now we'll change. Caldas waits. Borgo to the point. One timer score, and there's Philip Kemp again. He and Rabinsky each with two goals. And it is 4-3 Edmonton. Now, Kemp scored in the playoffs last year. For yes, Vegas. he did. A big goal. But he did not score in the regular season. And really, I mean, even at Yale, he was a captain of the squad, but not necessarily known as an offensive player. And he rifled that one upstairs on Dustin Wolf right off the dasher. And he whistled it. Just over his left forearm. 4-3, Oilers have their first lead of the night. That's why they play the game, Jack.